Hi, my name is Janet, and I come as a servant of the Most High God, Elohim, in the name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, to share a message. He instructed me to share, given on April 7, 2022. As with anything, I ask that you take it to the Lord for confirmation. I do not come for likes, subscribers, or money. I come because the Lord asked me to share this message, and I hope that it is a blessing to you. If you need prayer, I'd be glad to intercede on your behalf. You can leave a message in the comment section or email me. The email should be in the description box. There will be a salvation prayer at the end for those needing salvation. I am glad you are here. Now I will begin. Daughter, write these words down, for they are true words. The shaking commences. It has begun. Soon it shall be apparent to all of mankind. They will laugh and mock at my judgments to nullify the people. They will continue to deceive and to distract. They will harden their hearts and shake their fists. They will weep and mourn, but there shall come a light which none shall extinguish. It shall be a beacon to those who shall see, and it will be hope to those who shall draw near to it. During the night when it is dark, one clings to the light to guide and to direct them. That is what my light is, hope in the darkness, a reminder of all that is good and true and pure. All else is continued darkness which cannot compete to all that I am. I am the hope of my people. I am true and faithful. I am the roar in the night. I am the blast of the trumpet sound. I come to bring hope. I come to bring salvation. Rejoice. Celebrate who I am. Shout it from the rooftops. I will never abandon my people. I shall never leave them afraid. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. I am the hope of my people Israel. I am the eternal hope, everlasting love, yea, everlasting grace. None is lost to me. I find them all. I seek after all that have been scattered. I make a way. I love those who love me, and those who search for me find me. I hold them close. I direct their steps, and I prosper each one. I call the four winds, and I blow them every which way I see fit. I turn the seas, and my hand is over the children of men. I sprout the seeds, and spring them up in newness and wholeness according to my times and seasons. Nothing is outside of my care. I have a purpose in all that I do. Take heart, daughter. Take heart. Love, Abba. Thank you for listening. If you do not have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, you can pray this prayer with me to get started. Lord Jesus, I ask you into my life and into my heart, starting at this moment, to be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I accept by faith this sacrificial act and ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I reject the devil's influence on my life and turn to you, Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving me and saving me. Lord, I choose to live for you wholeheartedly from now on and want a true relationship. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And it's about a love relationship, not religious duty, not religion. And it's so important that you make time for him every day. It's very important that you get a Bible and you read for yourself and you grow in the Lord, you grow in love with Him, and you learn His truths, because it's about the condition of our hearts. And a prayer that I like to pray throughout the day, starting in the morning, is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9-13. through 13. It says, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for listening. Take care.